This is the Avaya 1416 telephone on an IP office system. These are your intercom lines. You could have one, two, or as many as we program. Intercoms start up here. They may be labeled A and B. Incoming lines could be here. And then other features and, and things would be on these other buttons. They're completely flexible and they're programmed the way you want. But right now we're going to go over some basic features. First thing is volume control. A lot of people ask for how, how does this work. This is the volume control down here. You can adjust the ring as necessary. Down. Okay. Once you've adjusted it down, it stays down. I will call this phone again. You see that the second call is down. Now I'm going to raise it up again and call it once more. As you can see, the volume stays up. Now, the volume also adjusts the listening volume. So when you receive your call and you're listening to it, if you want to raise up the sound, you can do that and it will stay set at that time also. The next thing is an incoming call. Now in this instance we have an auto attendant. So the first thing the person hears after the, after the ringing is going to be the auto attendant. Now your system coordinator will help set this up. But what happens is the first set of uh, numbers are if you know your party's extension. That means if this starts with a certain deal. This would be the day recording star 8401. This would say thanks for calling us. If you know your party's extension you may dial it at any time. And what we wouldn't say is press the star key for direct access to your voicemail or press the pound key to replay this message. This would be the day auto greeting. I'm going to dial 10 and you see it rings station 10. So this is what an incoming ring would look like and sound like. You can see that since I dialed 10 it's coming through the intercom. It's not ringing on the line. That's the actual line but it's ringing 10. What it actually just did because I let it ring three times is it went into voicemail. So I'm leaving a voicemail message 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and I'm hanging up that line. Now you're going to see that the voicemail light is going to come on pretty soon here because we just left a message. But I'm going to call in again and this time we're going to answer the call. As you see the voicemail light came on. You see there's an incoming call. It's going to ring. I'm going to dial 10. I'm going to answer the call. Now I have answered a call. Now there's a couple things you might like to do with this. Most times it's either put it on hold where it's blinking, the line is blinking, and I may page somebody to pick up that line at which point I hang up and that other person, in this case is another phone, picks up that line. Now they may put it back on hold. And you can see it goes back on blinking. And I'll pick up this call. Now another transfer function is the person wasn't there so I want to transfer directly to their voicemail. Given that we have visual voicemail and we'll get into this later, what we do is while we're talking to the person on the phone I hit the visual uh, voicemail button which says message and it says transfer dial the extension. Well I'm going to transfer it to extension 12. The person's name is Robin Hood. I'm going to select that and I'm going to hang up. That means I would then leave a message. Available to take your call at the moment. Right. So please leave a message after the tone. So I'm leaving a message for the person named Robin Hood. Over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm hanging up. And that person would then get 
a red light on their phone. It's going to light up in a second here. Okay. Well, when it does, I'll show it to you. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have a message here. As you can see, the red light is lit on the phone and also back on this phone also. The red light is on the phone. This is the message we just left. Now, how do we retrieve messages? Well, there's a couple ways to do it. First off, if I was on the out, if I was on the outside and I wanted to call in to get my messages, I would call in. Okay, the system will pick up. This would be the day recording star now, 8401. In the programming of this, we put the digit star to, to, to allow you to get your time. own voicemail. Now, I'm outside the company, and I press Please star. Enter your mailbox number. I'm going to press 10. Please enter your access code. We use default 1234. You have one new message. So I'm listening to my message from the from outside. Okay, I get my message. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I can hang up. Ten. The other way to get your messages internally is this: using my second phone, which also has a message. I could use the visual voicemail. I will press the voicemail. The word listen shows up here. I'm going to select listen. I have one new message. I select. And now I'm going to listen to that message. I'm leaving a message for the person named Robin Hood. Over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm hanging. Okay. I press more and I delete. You don't have to do that because as soon as you listen to it, it's going to go. Now that message you could transfer to other phones or, or whatever is necessary. So now you've got that transfer. Another way to transfer or to use your phone is to go star 17. You have no. This also message. gets you into your into your voicemail box. To hear your greeting message, press 1. To change your greeting message, press 2. To save your greeting message, press 3. To save your message for playing as a continuous loop, press 4. All of these commands are found on page 7 of your embedded voicemail document, which is also left on, on your computer or the main administrator's computer. There are other features that are available to you on, on the phone. The menu controls many of the things you might like to customize your phone with. The first one shows up screens and sounds. You can select this and as you can see the word brightness, if I select brightness and I increase the brightness of the phone, you can see the brightness goes on, but I have it at the lowest setting so that the camera can pick it up. I press done. Next thing is contrast, personal ringing. You can, you can change. There are eight ring patterns on this. This is the one you hear. That's two. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and back to one. And we're going to save that. There are button clicks, as you can hear every time I hit the little OK button, it clicks. Error tones, and we're back to brightness. To exit this, you can hit the word exit on the screen here. You have a speaker, you have mute, last number redial, doesn't need any explanation. But there is another one, this call log. You see that's off here because we haven't placed any calls to this phone. But we have placed calls to this phone. This is station 10, this is the receptionist. The call log tracks any and all calls that come to the phone. Once you've pressed this, you can see who called. Now, once you've seen who called, whether it be an inside number or an outside number, you have the ability that you don't have to look up that person's name. You could just press the call button. And I'm returning a call to that person. 
once I've hung up, the call log goes out. So you can scroll through all your calls. You can save those numbers uh, for calling later. And you can add them to your contacts list. So you have your menus, your contacts, call logs, redial, speaker, hold, conference, transfer, and drop. Now the hold is you're holding it on your phone. However, somebody else can pick up that call if, if you tell them that it's on hold. Conference, you got three little handsets. You would actually press it once, make the call, press it twice, connect that second call, and third time everybody's connected. Now the drop, when you select drop, you're dropping whoever you want to select. Now this, the names of the conferencees will show up on the screen, and you could select which one to drop. It doesn't have to be the last one, could, could be the first one, or the, you know, the second one, and you would drop that. So you have that drop feature. Again, all of these buttons are, you can customize them yourself or have the system coordinator customize them. By hitting features, you can, you know, choose pickup, forward, phone user settings, where you can lock your phone, you can log in your phone, you can self-administer your phone. Okay, you can, you can add to your directory, you can you can uh, auto answer. There's quite a few things. Again, the, your book uh, that is on your PC will cover uh, all the things you could possibly do with this. But covering the basics, and that is answering a call, transferring a call, transferring a call to voicemail, getting your voicemails remotely and locally. Oh, I hope this helped uh, with the uh, 1416. Thank you very much.